Cars, SUVs, and pickup trucks are a major source of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Department of Transportation. And President Biden has promoted a $5 billion charging network for electric cars as a critical step in the fight against climate change. Right now, the country has about 100,000 chargers. The plan is for 500,000 by 2030. Fully electric, all electric, ultimate electric driving machine. Look, we know car companies are falling all over themselves to let us know they're making electric cars. But is the charging technology ready? And is $5 billion enough for a robust charging network? First, let's talk about the technology. Hi, Smitty. Tom Smitty Smith is a longtime advocate of a statewide charging network in Texas. Yeah, we're at a point now where the charging infrastructure is at the mass adoption stage. Um, many other nations, California and the Northeast, have really gotten after that and installed charging infrastructure around their states. And it's now widely available and relatively inexpensive to install in your homes. As a technology, charging stations are well beyond a concept on the back of a napkin. They are an established business and growing fast. A new report from Market Research Engine anticipates the global charging station market will be worth $30 billion in just two years. So the technology is there, but in Texas, there just isn't enough of it. In 2020, we took a 20-hour electric car road trip, and sometimes we had a hard time finding a fast charging station. And we can't charge here. So to have a reliable network, we need a lot more stations, but that takes money. And $5 billion of government spending over five years is a lot of money. Actually, that'll build you three Jerry worlds. And Texas is gonna get more than any other state, $408 million. Mr. Secretary, welcome back to our program. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg just appeared on Inside Texas Politics to talk about the charging network. The reason we're taking this step, though, is that we've got to accelerate the progress of that EV revolution. And we've got to make sure more of it's made in America. Here's why government money is important to accelerating a plan like this. Think about building a new neighborhood. First, you have to put in infrastructure, things like roads and sewer and stoplights, and then you can build the homes. So this $5 billion will go toward building infrastructure that makes it possible for private companies to build more charging stations. And that's happening in Europe, where giant oil companies like BP, Shell, and Total now own their own charging networks. At that point, you're in, in the Katie bar the door system situation, where you've gone far enough on the curve of adaptation uh, to suddenly have, just have to get out of the way. So we know the cars are coming, but is the technology ready? The answer to that is yes, charging stations are a proven technology. And is $5 billion enough for a robust charging network? Well, it's impossible to say how many stations will eventually be built, but putting that kind of money toward vehicle charging infrastructure does set the stage for major growth in the business of keeping our future electric vehicles all charged up. I'm David Schechter reporting.